Hello. If I look like I'm wearing the same outfit as I was wearing in the last video, it's because I am. <laughs> it's because I filmed this on the same day and I'm too lazy to change and make it look like a different day. For this video I am doing the art style bend challenge which was popular a couple weeks ago but isn't anymore. Well maybe it is, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone do it in a while but um, I wanted to do it really bad. So basically if you don't know what the art style bend challenge is, for a while I was reading it as blend which is not what it is. Is it? I don't even remember anymore. I think it's bend. But basically you ask your followers what the like the defining traits of your art style is and then you draw without those defining traits. So it's like your style but it's like without all the things that make your style your style, if that makes sense. A lot of people are calling it anti-style. I feel like that's not right. I don't know. Like it's not the opposite of your art style, it's just without the traits that people notice, if that makes sense. At least that's the way I interpret it and that's the way I did it. So um, I asked on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr, I never asked Tumblr but I decided to ask Tumblr for the defining traits of my art and I picked out the ones that I could objectively use. A lot of people were just very nice in saying, your art's pretty. <laughs> Um, which is very really nice, but I can't just take out the pretty, like I don't, that's too objective, you know? So I took out um, all the things people have said, which are, I have it right here, um, blush, white highlights, soft round features, colored line art, big eyes, flyaway hairs, soft plus cell shading, detailed fluffy hair, and warm saturated colors. So those are like the defining traits of my art style. And then I just drew without those traits. So it was really hard. The first part of this movie paint is my own art style. I drew myself. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I took pictures with my mother <laughs> recently because um, I like photography and she likes fashion. And then while I was out there, I was like, I'll take, I'll have her take pictures of me too. So um, this is the picture that I am. I don't know where I'll put it, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. This is the picture that I'm drawing of myself, except making it look way cuter. <laughs> it's a cartoonified me. So I do that in my own art style, and then I'm going to draw it in the style bend version without the defining traits, which I had a really hard time with, especially the eyes, because I, I don't know, I draw eyes very, I like drawing big eyes. And so trying to draw small eyes was really hard, and I think they still ended up a little too, like, big. Like, they're still big eyes. But they're smaller. And also, doing black line art is not my thing. It wasn't fun. I also decided to not, um, have it be neat line art. I mean, I'm very used to doing neat line art. I'll redraw the same line over and over and over again until it's how I want it. Um, I'm not, like, a sketchy, uh, line art person. So I was trying to make it more messy because I feel like that's uh, like uh, another defining trait. I didn't include it. I was just like keeping that in mind. So I think it's like a combo of neat and messy. It's a little bit messier than my normal art. I also, did I use the same brush? I think I used a different brush as well. I think I used the texture brush on the normal one and then I used the hard brush on the style bend version. And then um, for the hair I had to try flat instead of fluffy which was another challenge i just had a hard like um obviously the defining traits are things that uh you're very used to doing <laughs> and it's like your way of drawing so drawing in a different way is really difficult um i like drawing fluffy hair i feel like i don't know it just looks more fun to look at and it's more fun to draw than flat hair so <laughs> i was not having fun drawing it just flat out, especially because I couldn't do flyaways and that's one of my favorite parts of drawing is adding the little flyaway hairs and I couldn't do that. Um, same with the the highlights. I had, my, my favorite parts are adding the highlights and the flyaway hairs. That's my favorite part of drawing. <laughs> and I like overlay layers are fun. But I couldn't do that. I'm a little concerned that the body looks the same. I don't, I don't know how to draw a body any differently. I tried to add less details in the clothes because someone did say I draw detailed clothes and more simplified bodies. So I tried to make the clothes 
more simplified as well. I didn't write that one down because I didn't want too many traits, <laughs> but I, it kept it in mind, you know? And then blush was another one where I was like, it looks so weird without blush, like she looks dead. I need, I need blush. So it was, I didn't, I'm not a fan of the way the style bend version came out. Um, I tried to do blendy colors too, which I'm not used to doing. I did a video like a little while ago, fairly long time ago, of trying to do a paint trailer art style, and I did that so much better than I did this time around. I think I just wanted to hurry it up. I just didn't like, like I wasn't like liking the line art, and I feel like if you don't like the line art, you're not gonna be motivated to spend time on the coloring. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I was feeling. Yeah, it was just difficult. And then the muted colors, I was originally gonna do like uh, pastel colors, like cool pastel colors, because I'm not allowed to do warm tones either. But uh, I forgot <laughs> when I was coloring, so I just did like muted dark colors, which I do not like. It looks very Tim Burton, which is, I guess, kind of cool. But I don't know. I think it maybe it's just like it was weird to draw and seeing it next to my actual version, I'm just like, I don't I don't like this one as much. I like my own style more. But I mean I guess it was a good like confidence boost because sometimes I just get really insecure about my art style and it's just not where I want it to be. But um I don't know. I like it better than that version at least. Like maybe the defining traits of my art style aren't as bad as I think it is, you know? Maybe that's a positive. Um, a lot of people were saying it looked cool though. I already posted it, um, so that was really nice to hear because I was really unsure about it. I wasn't sure if I should even do a video, but a couple of my friends said that I should, so this is to you two friends. <laughs> I hope it was interesting to listen to and hear about the process and my thoughts while doing it. Also, side note, it was very cool to have people tell me what the, like, the things they notice about my art style is. It was really interesting. Because I think some of it was stuff that I don't notice that I do, you know? It was neat. Oh, most people, almost everyone mentioned at some point that it's soft. Which is so interesting to me because I don't know if I think my art style looks soft. Because I do the cell shading. But I guess I draw the hair all fluffy and I do very rounded features, which I want to get better at doing other more angle, angle, blah, 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 more angled features, especially with male characters. I feel like they always look baby, which is fun sometimes, but sometimes I just want to draw a not baby man, you know? <laughs> That's definitely something I need to practice at, but you know, it's always good to get out of your comfort zone and draw things that you don't normally draw, and I guess... This challenge is a good way to do that. I'm not sure how successful I was, because I feel like it still looks like my art style, but it like a dull version of my art style. I don't know. But uh, yeah, okay. Thanks so much for watching. I always have like, I say thanks for watching, then I give afterthoughts and I say thanks for watching again, which is probably annoying, but thanks for watching. Okay, um, see you next time.